hello friends welcome back today i am going to discuss one important aspects of arm based devices that is the basic peripheral drivers i will take use case of stm32 nuclear board so most of the silicon vendors used to provide all the ecosystem required to develop application for their device that includes id integrated development environment and in our case we are using true studio and that basically integrate all aspects of compiling linking building and apart from that the basic drivers basic api needed to access the registers device registers so otherwise you can simply follow that uh, documentation and uh, access that but if everyone has to do same thing same this address used to remain same and access method used to remain same then it is always better to use the driver provided by the silicon vendor so uh, let me go through this driver support provided for stm32 family by st and it not only st but you will see similar analogy with other vendors also so earlier Uh, after that this compiler debugger id kind of thing along with the, this basically silicon vendor used to provide different code examples to access the device peripherals core registers so similarly st also used to provide code examples that was long back after that further similar to other silicon vendor st also provided standard peripheral libraries that is the c libraries to access stm32 peripherals and um, that remain for uh, you know number of microcontrollers that support and later they came up with this stm32 cube that will not provide only the peripheral libraries but also on top of that middleware such as usb stack tcp ip stack graphics file system artos kind of thing so for that that driver is always there but in addition to that that was there so this is that is called stm32 cube and to ease the life of that you know user and uh, better development cycle time to market kind of thing they came up with uh, you know graphical tool we will see later and this particular stm32 cube is divided into two part that is the hardware abstraction layer api so as the name implies that user using this basically uh, don't bother about that microcontroller being used from that which microcontroller from stm32 being used here so like high level um, you know hardware abstraction uh, kind of functions will be there but below that there will be a low layer api also so if you want to directly access then you can use the low level api that is similar to earlier like spl like standard peripheral libraries so low level approach is also available and as i told that to further reduce time to market and development cycle they provided stm32 cube mx as a graphical tool to configure stm32 microcontroller and generate c code and this is similar to processor expert provided by nxp for many devices 
so this is good for experienced developer they quickly get that uh, you know mm, uh, device related header file c file generated by this and use in their application but that on the other hand since uh this vendor silicon vendor used to add new devices so there may be chances sometime of you know some error so always it is better to know the basic concepts you know manual approach to uh, access the registers so that basic foundation must be there even though you are going to use this graphical tool to generate that driver or header file for you so this is the overall approach in that microcontroller or other uh, you know devices by silicon vendors uh, you know initially they used to provide x code examples then driver then adding this uh, uh, layers middleware as well and then graphical tool so this is all uh, already you know in uh, market for many years now so in addition to that because as as you know that arm based you know arm core based uh, devices there are multiple vendor multiple devices so there must be something some standard which everyone should follow so that it helps in portability from one vendor to another vendor and within one vendor like one uh, revision to another revision so for that region so any industry standard is there for designing the arm card microcontroller bare metal device driver yes it is there so that is called cortex microcontroller software interface standard that is cms is cms sis okay so this is standard and this is a framework to integrate third party software okay if any software is compliant to the cm uh, cm sis then you can easily use it in your device so why it was needed by the way to standardize software interfaces among all cortex m silicon vendor products number 1 and to provide a common approach for software interfaces among peripheral access for example rtos dsp or middleware uh, you know the common approach so usb stack written for one particular vendor should work on the other also if it is cm uh, cmsi is compliant i mean uh, if there are some exceptions then those has to be taken care but most of the things should work okay so that helps and also this helps in software reuse in migrating from one silicon version to another or also from one vendor to another so this is the what is by the way this cm size let's see to understand let's divide that embedded software to four layers application layer top where your actual application is there and then middleware like usb graphics file system artos whatever you use from application to middleware then middleware you will use the graphical you know uh, device peripheral access layer or um, drivers um, hel you know uh, hardware abstraction layer it will use to access basically device and core register so please note device here is like within the device within the soc suppose usb module is there so usb register so for core that is the cortex m4 in this particular case so that is the arm core so device is the overall other peripherals of that uh, device uh, and uh, that core is specific to uh, you know arm core so here is this overall picture of this so you can see application then this cms pack within that different things are there and um, you know artos and all that below that core will is there and that core will basically directly cortex um, m processor or other peripheral communication peripheral like usb i told you and it's specialized peripheral for example uh, graphics user interface and any other thing and this is the debugger related thing third party debugger uh, through this um, system view description file 
how that uh, you know it should show that and then the debug access port will be there and directly uh, accessing the uh, different peripheral through this debugger third party debugger so this is separate thing and this is the overall uh, scenario of uh, arm based microcontroller so next so what is required to be CMSIS compliant code. So it means that some of the essential rules convention you have to follow simply NCC related whatever the standard and uh, data types everything related to NCC and variables parameters have a complete data type and uh, expression for define constraint and additionally recommend following convention for identifier capital names to identify core registers peripheral registers and cpu instructions and this camel case names to identify function names and inter function and name space prefixes avoids classes with uh, you know user identifier and provide functional group so basically some convention for data type and um, you know identifier and how to write those register definitions and as well as documentation how to document it so that everything should be followed to make it cms's compliant code okay so i will show you that in this particular case let's look into whenever you create a project default project simple default project using this um, you know uh, particular um, true studio so in this part case i created one test debug project in that you will see the drivers then here is the cms uh, sis driver and here the device file directly it will access the st device file within the st folder you will see that this particular file is the first one which will be used in the main file if you open the source and from the main if you see the link this particular file is here so that is the device specific file soc specific file please make sure that and after that this device also there should be some there is one variable which decide basically whether you are going to use um, hl or you are going to directly access that um, you know particular uh, uh, register um, so whether you are going to hl driver and if you find, try to find out hl it should be there somewhere and uh, that is the hardware abstraction layer okay so that is the huge hl driver if you define this then basically it it will use the hl driver and what are the hl driver those will be generated by uh, you know tool graphical tool here you can see in the readme you can check here then hl driver so so once the generated driver has to be copied in this particular folder if you are not using that you are using the normal driver um, provided with this then probably um, i mean you can use these two that is this is core specific for example if you see in our case cm4 so you will see the core specific uh, you know different definitions here you see this this is the cmisys compliant code so um, uh, you can see the kind of macros and names specific convention in the name you know so that is what basically being followed by uh, other vendors also for example you know this uh, particular bit uh, position and a register definition uh, so those kind of thing uh, so that is uh, what it is part of the cms is even the name of that particular um, uh, name and uh, of the registers and as well as the um, uh, complete uh, you know type deep struct so this is what called the uh, core specific and then you have device specific layer and or otherwise you can use uh, this thing uh, hl driver if you are going to use the graphically um, uh, you know generated code okay and uh, 
uh, that's all uh, for today and uh, if you mm, find that uh, this information useful and then please subscribe to youtube channel and you can visit um, my website and there you will find this particular topic also uh, i have um, you know described in as an article also uh, okay uh, if there is any confusion on this particular video thanks for your time